Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And in case you haven't visited my new website lately, uh, we just revamped it. I just yesterday actually put up uh, a bunch of new free gifts on the website. I thought you might want to go check it out. And then I do want to share um, some tips for you on how to start your own live events and what to do with live events. Because a lot of people ask me all the time, and I see entrepreneurs in my, even my local area, when I go to networking events, they're holding their own live events and things. And I haven't necessarily coached them on how to do that. And I don't know if they've been getting coached. Some of them have, I think, and some of them haven't. And it shows in their results. Um, so first, if you want to get some free gifts from me, go to jumpstartyourmarketing.com. Go to the resources page. There's a couple different resources page. There's one for recommended vendors, which if you need things like shopping carts or email marketing services, you want to go check out what things I recommend and there's descriptions on what they are and all that. And then there's a page just for free gifts. And there's like 12 of them there right now, okay? All different topics that you can pick and choose from and get in some more information. So check it out. I know if you haven't engaged with my videos or my website in a while, it might be time for a little jump start. Okay, so go check some of those free gifts out. Things that on speaking and follow up marketing and um, love yourself successful as well as uh, jump starting your business and marketing. So Okay, so back to the topic at hand. I want to talk about live events. I've been to some events that are extravagant, huge, lots of people in the room, free food and alcohol flowing, and those are obviously ab absolutely phenomenal. Um, but some of us who host live events, uh, we need to you need to think about the end in mind. Like, how are you going to be profitable with these kinds of events? Because we can't always be profitable um, with providing so much food and beverage and stuff like that, right? So that's one of the biggest killers of someone's event budget is providing too much food and beverage and or a room block in your hotel, in the hotel you're going to be at, and then getting stuck on the hook for because you didn't get enough people to sign up for your event. So that's one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make. And I made it too in the beginning, okay? And I was advised from by mentors and people in the industry on what to do at my first live event. But unfortunately, they gave me the advice of someone at their level and not at a starter level. So I'm really practical in the way that I teach people how to start their first event. I don't want it to be bare bones nothing, however. Like we don't want to provide nothing of, there's ways that you can make it more engaging and also have a really great experience without having to spend a lot of money, okay, and invest a lot of money in your event itself. But there are some things you don't want to not have. Like you've got to figure out what you need for audio visual. If you're going to need a microphone or a projector and a screen and, and or music, right? Because that can really set the mood and also uh, set the, the tone of how to per, um, position yourself on the stage too, whether it's an actual stage or you're just in front of the room and you don't have that kind of stage set up. So there's a lot of things to think about when it comes to live events, and I just want to see people be more successful out the gate than waiting a few times to start making money. One of the key things that I always ask people when they say, I want to do a live event, I want to have it in like three weeks or, you know, six weeks. First of all, most live events, if you're going to be at least a couple hundred dollars or more, you do want to plan it a minimum of three months and maybe even as far out as six months in advance, okay? But the the thing you want to think about first, it's not the ticket price, it's not where to have it, it's not what the agenda is going to be and what kind of content you're going to deliver, it's what are you selling at the event? What are you going to sell from that event? You got to start with the end in mind. Most people that I know that do live events, they make their money in the back end, not the front end of an event. So your ticket sales you're lucky if your ticket sales cover some of your expenses. Lucky, okay? But if you want to get a good size room, you might have to, unfortunately, in this day and age, still charge maybe a little bit less than you really want to. I don't, you know, I don't want to charge $200 for my event. I want to charge $2,000 for my event. But how many people would I get there, right? Realistically, 
And how much more work would it be to try to sell people into a $2,000 ticket price than a $200 ticket price? It's a lot more work because there's a lot more sales involved. Like you really have to sell people to, to, to charge that. So, you know, you want to look at what you're selling in the back end first. So you may not want to give everything you've got in that workshop. Of course, we want to give great value, great content. But to do a two or three day live event and give everything and have nothing left to sell um, is a mistake. So I would love to talk with you more about this. I go over what to do at live events as one of the business models that you can engage in your implement in your business at my live events. And my live events are really um, intimate. They're about 60 people and we have a chance, you have a chance to meet everybody. People get uh, highlighted in the room. We do hot seats and some spot coaching as well as really great networking and we have a lot of fun and I just would love to invite you to attend my next event which is in November so it's only um, about six weeks away I think from the time of this video and it's November 3, 4, and 5 here in Sacramento, California and it's uh, amazing. It's the event I've been running for gosh since like 2010. 2010 I've been running this particular event on and off. I change the different events that I do um, but this one is the Jumpstart Your Biz in a Weekend Intensive and we really go through a lot of the different things that are going to make you more successful and a lot more money in your business from your online presence to your offline presence and your marketing strategies. I go through 10 to 20 different types of marketing strategies, about 15 different types of business models. I don't just give you one way to do it. I show you a bunch of different ways and then we rationalize which ones work for who in the room so that you know so that you know you're picking the right business model, the right strategies to really get your business off the ground, the ones that feel comfortable for you, but also are going to sell and help you make the money that you really want to make. So join me at the next one. Go to livebigevents.com, livebigevents.com. It's all about building a bigger life the way you want it on your terms, and I will see you there.